welcome to the discussion this is a bgp lab session where we practically we are going to see how a bgp neighborship is formed this is our third video in bgp in which first two video we have uh, discussed more about bgp in theory i have given both the uh, url in the below description so if in case you are new to bgp i recommend you to please uh, go through the first video to have better understanding and then come to this uh, lab session okay so uh, as we know bgp is a exterior gateway protocol which is used to to route the information from one autonomous system to the other autonomous system okay so i have taken a sample setup uh, with uh, two different autonomous system which this belongs to autonomous system 1000 and this network belongs to autonomous system 2000 so in our uh, lab session we are going to see how a neighborship is formed between these two different autonomous system and uh, routing is done okay uh, in order to minimize the time i have uh, already assigned the ip address uh, in all the uh, network interfaces and the systems so apart from that i have not done any configuration changes uh, or any configurations i have just assigned ip address to minimize the time okay see if you see in the router i just assigned the ip nothing more than that if you see just assign the ip i have not done any uh, routing okay so before starting uh, this is autonomous system 1000 and this is autonomous system uh, 2000 for this lan setup i have assigned uh, slash 24 that is 172.16.10.0 slash 24 for uh, the lan segment of autonomous system 1000 and uh, i have assigned 192.168.10.0 slash 24 for the lan segment for the autonomous system 2000 okay and i have used 10.10.10.0 slash 30 uh for the wan that is i have used uh, 10.10.10.1 uh, in the interface fast ethernet 0/0 in this router and i have used 10.10.10.2 at this interface at this router okay so this is how our uh, setup is and we are going to configure uh, bgp uh, and see how the bgp is established okay uh, as we discussed earlier in the first video uh, unlike other routing protocols the neighborship will not be formed automatically okay in bgp we are we should, we, we need to manually assign we need to manually specify who is the uh, neighbor and uh, which autonomous system he belongs to okay so uh, let me see before starting uh, the configuration let me show you the configuration syntax so this is the basic configuration syntax uh, which is used to, to form a uh, neighborship okay uh, so the very first uh, uh, syntax line is router bgp which which starts uh, initiate the bgp uh, routing protocol in the router and uh, here we need to specify which autonomous system does this router belongs to okay and uh, the next line as i told earlier uh, uh, in bgp we need to manually specify the neighbor it it will not automatically uh, form the neighborship okay so we need to specify uh, the neighbor ip address and we need to specify to which autonomous system he belongs to uh, and then we need to advertise the network which is associated with the router okay so this is the basic syntax we are going to form a, a bgp neighborship using that syntax okay and uh, let me configure it configure terminal okay as per the syntax i am going to enable uh, bgp in this router so first router bgp and we need to specify which autonomous system that this router belongs to okay as this router 0 belongs to autonomous system 1000 i am giving here 1000 okay and the next step we need to manually specify the neighbor okay so the neighbor is neighbor belongs to autonomous system 2000 okay and using the neighbor command neighbor and ip address is 10.10.10.2 and the remote as number is 2000 okay and i'm going to advertise the lan segment uh, network to the bgp okay my lan segment network is 172.16.10.0 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 Zero. That's it. From here. So this side the configuration part is done. As like the same, we need to configure the BGP. This side also. So going to configuration mode. I'm 
enabling BGP in this router and specify which autonomous system uh, does it belongs to. And uh, as informed earlier, we need to manually specify who is his neighbor. Okay, uh, using the neighbor command, I'm giving the IP address of neighbor. That's nothing but this IP address which is assigned to this interface okay because now we are configuring this router and the remote AS is so for this router he is the remote AS right he is the uh, neighbor and this neighbor belongs to this autonomous system thousand so remote AS is thousand so if you see once we uh, manually enabled uh, manually call the neighbor the adjacency is formed okay now we need to advertise the LAN segment network that's 192.168.10.0, 192 192.168.10.0 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0. That's it. It's done. So let's verify whether uh, BGP uh, neighborship is established or not. Okay. So the command to <coughs> verify the BGP peer or the BGP neighborship is show IP BGP summary. It will give you the summary of all the BGP uh, neighborship. Okay. So using this command, uh, if you see, I'm checking from router one, the nothing but this router. So it's showing us like the neighbor is 10, 10, 10, 1. Nothing but this, this router's IP is 10, 10, 10, dot 1. So the neighborship is formed with this neighbor. And uh, it's showing that uh, we are using a version 4 BGP, BGP version 4 and the neighbor's autonomous system is uh, 1000. Yeah, because the neighbor autonomous system is 1000 and uh, the neighborship is up for last 44 seconds. So this is how we can verify the connectivity, the uh, neighborship, the BGP, <coughs> sorry, BGP neighborship. Also, we can use show IP BGP neighbor, which gives more in detail information. You see, it will give more, uh, more in detail information about the neighbors. Neighbor IP, which autonomous system it belongs to, like that. Uh, what's the BGP version and how long the BGP uh, is established. So, it will give all the information in detail. The summary information will, uh, the summary command will give the summary of the uh, above command okay and in order to see the topology table show IP BGP so it will be giving the topology table uh, me to say all the possible uh, network uh, from this particular router okay and what are the next hop to reach it uh, if we verify the routing table now we can see see uh, earlier when we checked with show IP route, uh, we don't see any uh, any other route uh, which is apart from the directly connected network. But uh, now if you see uh, this from router to when we are seeing, we could see 172.16.10.0 network is learned through BGP. B indicates BGP. You see it's mentioned here, BGP. B indicates BGP. So this is how a BGP neighborship is formed. Just like the same we can check from here as well. Show Summary. So if you see uh, from when I'm checking from this router, when I'm checking from this router, it's showing uh, he is the neighbor, and the BGP is up for last two minutes and 58 seconds. Okay, and uh, even if I'm checking for the routing table, yep. Here also from this router, this router learned the LAN IP of this segment. That's uh, 192.168.10.0 network through BGP. So this indicates that BGP is formed between uh, the two routers. This is how a BGP is enabled. BGP neighborship is formed and the information is shared between the two different autonomous system. So even we can try to ping from this PC. So now I'm trying to ping uh, from this PC to this PC, nothing but uh, this PC belongs to autonomous system 1000 and its IP address is 172.16.10.1. From here, I'm going to uh, reach 192.168.10.1, which belongs to the different autonomous system. Okay. 192.168.10.1. So, 
So uh, we are trying to reach from one end of the system to the other. Yes, it's reachable. The first RTO is because of the ARP. Uh, it will take to learn the ARP. So if you see, we are able to reach from one autonomous system to the other autonomous system. So this is how uh, BGP works and this is how that routing information is shared between two different autonomous systems. So uh, 